attacks as you've seen in some of the videos well that's because there have been some intrusions and this is not no regular everyday hacker okay because it's only happening when I'm doing videos and I'm showing people things or we're doing our ring central meetings it's not happening when I'm just doing basic stuff on a computer without anybody around or just looking up some research information so because it's purposeful because I've shown you guys where the courts have invited the Attorney General to investigate the organizations with an S that I've created this is not the first time we've received notice that they want to investigate so I with the fact that there are at least a hundred million corporations in America that are active that they want to focus on us and the very fact that we have corporations that are literally poisoning drinking water poisoning the atmosphere dumping poisons into the ocean kidnapping people kidnapping kids transporting trafficking people kids throughout the world they want to focus on us the reason why they're focusing on us is because we are telling people and helping people to do things that let's just say the common folk have no access to there are a couple of things I need to show you I think the first one is gonna be not that one it's gonna be this one ladies and gentlemen this is for your tax write-offs we're not giving this information to you as of yet but we want to let you know where you're going to start your research. Fiscal services, administrative offset of delinquent debt. You see, administrative doesn't mean just government. You guys don't understand it, right? You've heard of the administrative process? You see, I just read over case law yesterday that I did. Hold on, let me see if I can show you that case law so that you can understand it. I don't know if it dag nabbit ladies and gentlemen yeah that's my word dag nabbit okay anyway because you know what the uh people who don't like dag nabbit because it sounds too juvenile they say god okay but no i don't do the god you know that's not me ladies and gentlemen playing in my background is larry graham uh gentlemen i have a great deal of admiration Ladies and gentlemen, this is the criminal complaint. What I want to do is I want to do a search quickly. We're going to search for admin. Yeah, I knew I hit S twice. The word shouldn't be administration. It should be administrators. Okay. No, we, uh, the business of the court, no, that was not the one I'm looking for let's do administrate tours we're gonna do administrate tour so that we can pull up administrate tours okay tours no tours notorious notorious pay attention to this so that you guys understand what's going on because the courts and prosecuting attorneys have a far older tradition of administrative aid than the administrative agencies it is often forgotten that they too engage in administrations a truth which strangely enough has been obscured by burying the revealing phase administration of justice ladies and gentlemen the courts are saying that their judicial officers perform an administrative function for which they are administrators we what we call justice I want to see justice done that's what we're saying but this is taken from an actual judge saying this in a case that they're administrators so without any further ado um, this is the ESET website let's uh, go here for a second ladies and gentlemen I want to show y'all something we d h e p e o p l e and what we want is the preamble so watch this 
P R E A M B L O L E. Preambo. T E X T. So that we just don't pull up junk. We want the preamble text. You know, I've listened to this song so many times that it will play in my background. We the people, I want you guys to, I want you guys to understand what's going on. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice. Okay, I want you guys to understand, wait a minute, these are different words. This is uscourts.gov. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, these are not the same words of the preamble that I learned. Huh. Interesting. The preamble to the Constitution, archives.gov. Okay, we the people of the United States, in order to form a perfect and shall be justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the presence of liberty for ourselves and our do ordain and establish this Constitution of the United States of America. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the courts, pay attention. It is the people who establish justice, not the courts. The courts say that they are employed to administer justice. There is nothing in the Constitution that says the courts administer justice. Go on, take a look. Go ahead and find me a single constitutional amendment in the Bill of Rights that speaks about the courts administering justice. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put in a phrase so that you can get it. Hold on. You don't want to go back. Through the fire! Sorry, this is uh, Shaka Khan. And she sing. Oh, that's why I didn't do the back. So that's why it had a problem with preamble. I apologize. All right. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I want to administer my own personal affairs. Any, anybody mind me administering or managing my own personal affairs? You, you guys don't mind? Okay, just want to make sure because I want you to see. No, I've not looked this up before. I just know the phrases. Okay, personal affairs administrator. Look at that. There is actually a person who administers your personal affairs for you. Okay. Look at that. Attorneys administer your financial affairs. Well, let's go back here so you guys can understand where I'm going from and where I'm coming from. <sighs> Referring to fiscal services administrative offset of delinquent debt held in our debt portfolio. SACOM is referring to these delinquent debts, are uh, referring these delinquent debts to the Treasury for cross servicing for an offset refund. <clears throat> for an offset refund. The cross servicing set off program, or TOPs, are governed under 26 USC 6402. Authority to make credit or refund. Okay, administrative offset is here. You would have thought this was only for government. Ladies and gentlemen, no. This right here, administrative offset program, is set up because of the common law right of offset. See, under the common law, we have an inherent right to recover debts owed through offset or set off. And the laws and everything are below. I'm not giving that information to you guys fully. I just want to let you know that we've already done the research. I I'm sorry, let me say that again. We've already done the research. There are people who don't understand. That's why we can tell you that we're offering credits with each of the SAP packs. We have the SAP pack plus, which we have taken out the arbitration clause. See, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, we're creating securities. Those of you who previously acquired SAP packs, you didn't understand because it wasn't nailed into the vernacular that we were creating securities. The Securities Acquisition Trust Commission is the name of the corporation. 
Securities Investment Trust Commission is the one that's handling the defrauded homeowners of America. I just need all of you to understand, they will try to stop us because I'm revealing this information on video to you all. Then why do it? Because there are so many people out there not wanting to understand that we are doing what we do because we know what we do. That we're not just haphazardly doing anything. Can I explain something just briefly? And then we're going to stop this video and I got another video that I want to do. And then I've got to get to some business today because I have some things I have to take care of. Um, it is going on 8.30, well after 8.30 and it is 70 degrees just about. So that means we're going to have another warm day. Because by the time 12 o'clock gets here we'll be over 80 degrees. By the time 2 o'clock gets here we'll be close to 100. I don't know, I have not looked at the weather report. I've just been going by the temperature and looking at the thermometer and that's what it tells me. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to express and like to tell you is, as I said, when I was a teenager, the unique part about it was, and it was simple, as a teenager, I heard about Donald Trump going bankrupt and this is not about Donald Trump like I said I don't like Donald Trump I never have I'm not a fan of Donald Trump it has nothing to do with him being president or not being president I never liked the person but that's my opinion he probably doesn't like me either and he doesn't have to and I don't have to like him however let me make it clear Donald Trump is not a fool okay in some areas he's a genius sorry I, I, I gotta admit that because it's the truth uh, ladies and gentlemen I think yeah I gotta because I, I have a, an account with ESET uh oh okay I have an account with ESCT so uh, I'm gonna log in. Hey, it got my device name. It got my device name. License key. Now we're gonna try this for free. We ain't gonna put no license key in. Don't do I ain't gonna do the license key. I already gave you my email. Lord, leave me alone. No, I don't want to receive no special offers. Okay. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, when I and I've said this on video many times when I heard that the person Donald Trump had gone bankrupt on several occasions okay I couldn't understand that the man was supposed to be a billionaire okay he was supposed to be a billionaire and he went bankrupt how do you go bankrupt being a billionaire? Well, basically from bad investments. I could not uh, pay attention because I don't want it to be misunderstood. As a teenager, a 15-year-old kid, ah, uh, ah, uh, I have to, I know why, and it's probably because I need a computer restart. So I'll have to fix that. Uh, see, because <laughs> I just uninstalled something and so I, I need to restart the computer uh, yes I'm closing the wizard now just go ahead wizard close oh I'm sorry now it's closed alright let me get back to this so that we can get through this video and move on to the next one ladies and gentlemen we're gonna be doing the credit series I'll be finishing up one other video later tonight dealing with credit so that you guys can catch up to where we are okay the one thing I wanted to let you know is again Donald Trump knew what he was doing because every time he went bankrupt he was still a billionaire go back take a look at the record every time Donald Trump has filed for bankruptcy and he has done so several times he's remained a billionaire God how do you do that you went bankrupt how do you remain a billionaire if you declare bankrupt because declaring bankruptcy doesn't mean you're bankrupt it just means you can't pay your creditors the only problem is, 
And I showed this to someone yesterday because I had a consult yesterday that actually lasted for four hours. They didn't pay for four hours. Okay? But the individuals whom I were helping, they needed the assistance in more ways than one. And so even though they were expecting other information because of a misunderstanding of the way things are, which is what the next video is going to be talking about, not about consults, but it's going to be con uh, helping people understand their misconception of the way things are, especially with documents and filing of documents. They were able to get this information and I'm about to show you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're dealing with debt and you're dealing with organizations and you're dealing with all these agencies, what you're not cognitively aware of is processes and how to discharge things. As a matter of fact, we don't have to go there. I can just basically explain it to you. When you're dealing with these agencies, you have to follow their policies, not your policy. There is a policy and a procedure for everything. Many people are not following that. When we're dealing with things like credits, individuals are not understanding credits because they have a misconception of finances. They have a misconception of monies. So let me show you this real quick, please. 31 CFR 363.2. Now, I've shown this to people many times, but I'm going to highlight it again for you so that you can understand what's going on because there is something you have failed to do. I know, I know, if you go to them and tell them this is what you want to do, they'll treat you as if you were stupid because now you got to go look up the policies and rules for doing it this way. But I'm going to prove to you that this is the way to do it. We're, now, this is... Code of Federal Regulations 363.20. You guys know about 363.6, definition, minor account, and all of that wonderful stuff. This is still associated, see, registration must express an actual ownership of interest. Security registration conclusively, security registration conclusively establish ownership of the security. You all have not been paying attention to me. You want to gain control of your securities? Register them! I apologize. Registration must express actual ownership of or interest in the security. You have a security interest, ladies and gentlemen. You have a security interest in the collateral. Register your securities, people. Look, I can't keep doing all of this for you. Everybody wants me to do everything. But you have all the knowledge. No, I don't. You have all the knowledge. This is all of you people wanting to set up a Treasury Direct account. You're not documenting it correctly. Okay? This is explaining to you how you do it. You're being rejected. Pay attention. You are being rejected because you're not following the policy. You're not being rejected because they hate you. You're not being rejected because they think that you're a fool. You're not being rejected because they don't like your mother. You're being rejected because you're not following policy, and it's all right here. Okay. Wait. No. See, ladies and gentlemen, it's all right here. I'll give you the codes. Section 363.6, section 363.10, section 363.11, section 363.21, section 3, I mean 20.22, and then point twenty seven. So, 6, 10, 11, 20, 22, 27. That's it. Just go over that. And just think, there's got to be a form for this. And find the form. This gives you all the definitions as to who a beneficiary is. This gives you the definition of what a treasure direct account. So go to the Cornell Law version of it. So that you can see what everything means. So you become the professional. Now, you notice, this is what I want to show you. See, social security number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Social security number? 8. 9876534321 okay John Doe and payable upon the death of Jane Doe I mean payable on his death to Jane Doe this is a trust registration example this is a trust people register your trust 
Show a security entrance. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Pay attention. John Doe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Jane Doe. 97, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. They couldn't make them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Both of them because they're not the same person. Not the same account. Okay, see? Living person such as an incompetent minor. A trust, a deceit in a state. Ladies and gentlemen, forms of registration for entities. Many of you have been trying to register your trust or your sole proprietorship. Let me make this a little bit larger so you can see what's going on. Sole proprietorships. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to find out what a sole proprietorship is. See this sole proprietorship? Well, this individual sole proprietorship, he didn't have to go to the IRS and get another EIN for his sole proprietorship. How do we know? Because take a look. The EIN and the social security number are the same. The only thing that separates them is a dash. You see, there are two dashes here. There's one here. This is an EIN number. This is a social security number for the same person. But he's doing business as plumbing services. You are doing business as that all caps legal fiction all block letter name. I've been yelling and screaming this since 2012. Go back. I've shown this to you all several times, showing you how the social security number and the EIN number for your corporation are identical. You don't need a 98 series number. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need a 98 series number. You're supposed to be following your taxes as a sole proprietorship. So if you haven't been following your taxes as a sole proprietorship, do it starting since last year. Now you filed your taxes as an individual and that's fine, but now you need to use the correct form in filing your taxes. Don't ask nobody for permission. Go over the rules. Don't ask nobody for permission. Go over the rules. I'm sorry. Don't ask anybody for permission. Go over the rules. The individuals I was talking to are uh, yesterday for four hours are in Europe. And in Europe, do you know they have a signature of consent form in Europe? I didn't know this, but they have an, an old law that says every time they elect a new parliament and a new uh, prime minister, that the people have to sign a signature of consent form. I'm looking for that law, signature of consent law for Britain. Send it to me! Why? So I can find a corresponding one for America. Remember, America adopted the same laws from Britain. So I'm looking to find that. Because you all are giving consent by the signing of documents. Your signature on these documents. You keep talking about your signature has value. Your signature has a lot of value. Because without your consent, there is no government in America. You've heard it. Government is by the consent of the people. Wait, hold on. We're going to leave uh, Cornell uh, because we've, we've accomplished what we needed to accomplish there in Cornell. Hold on. I don't care about all that other junk. The political philosophy, the phrase consent of the governed, refers to the idea that government legitimacy or moral rights to use state power is justified and lawful only when consented to by the people or society over which the political power is exercised. So this is consent of the governed, refers to the idea, consent of the governed deriving from their just powers from the consent of the governed. I didn't write that. Okay, this is, pay attention, house.gov. So let's go there. This is 2017 that this junk was written. This is an e-letter, e-newsletter. You know what? I like Freddie Jackson, but we're going to skip him for a moment. Oh, 
all night long. Okay, you wanted me to love you when you said softly, reach out and touch me. Deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Now, watch this. I want you to see this. I want you all to understand. Consent may not be perceived. Okay? Feel the fire is going to be back on in a minute. We're going to go here. This is case text. I haven't opened it today, so I have to do it this way. Now, see, I like, as I said before, Teddy Pendergrass version of this song. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, People Bryson does all right with the song. We're going to... I got to make sure I need this. I gave you all the love I know. No, I don't need this. I already have this. That arbitrable immunity extends to arbitrators. Stayed in my head. All night long. You wanted me to love you when you said softly. Reach out and touch. It's not searching like I want it to. But right here it shows that it is. So I have to be patient. Come on. Feel me. I want to. I'm going to pause y'all while me and uh, Peebo be uh, getting some recognition. I got a. It's supposed to be an overlay but it's not doing the overlay one second y'all ladies and gentlemen Henry opinions of the justices now this is Alabama government derives their just powers from the consent of the governed ladies and gentlemen people think that this is because individuals vote no that's not the consent of the governed these individuals are elected officials consent of the governed is not just your voting because remember state officials and county officials how do you put them back in place because if you are consenting to their ruling how do you correct that because you got to remember Many of you are voters. I am not a voter. I have never voted a day in my life and I never will. Why? Because I don't subscribe to this so-called man ruling over man thing. Sorry. Never been in the author. Well, there was authorization at one time, but it was frowned against because the Israelites demanded, and they did, they demanded a king over them. He allowed it. So government is only at the mercy of the true God. He permits it. That's why he even said a Pharaoh. For this reason I've caused you to exist. For the sake of showing you my power. Okay. He's about to demonstrate that power again. Uh, because people didn't understand the first time. Again. I know that there has to be more to the consent of the people than the voting box. However, you know what? I can't stay on this issue, but I do know something. I know that it's in the language on those stupid ballots. I know that it's the language of the ballots that give them the control that they receive. That's how they do it. That's They make you vote and they make you sign a ballot and I guarantee you there is language in that ballot authorizing them because of your consent. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> most of you are not realizing it. It's not the DMV. It's the ballot 
that you fill out when you vote. That's what's giving them the control. Lord have mercy. Sorry, because I hadn't, I, I knew this when they told me about the signature of consent in Britain and the old law. I knew there had to be one in America. Here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. I don't vote. So how does that apply to me? Interesting, ain't it? I don't do it. When you go to the DMV and you get a driver's license, do they not attach that to that? That's that consent form, ladies and gentlemen. God, stop. I, I can't tell you what to do. All I know is the scriptures say that Jesus' followers are no part of the world. Okay, the world choose the so-called wannabe leaders to rule over them when we're supposed to only have one leader. Don't take my word for it. Hold on. You know, for a while, to love is all we could do. Earth, wind, and fire, ladies and gentlemen. For a while. We're going to go to two. No, this ain't what I'm looking for. Okay. Moreover, do not call anyone father on the earth for one is your father so why do people call these individuals in these churches fathers he specifically said don't do it why do you do it over a billion people on this planet calls some idiot father and i'm not talking about your father who birthed you this is talking about in a religious setting he says don't do it then he says, for one is your father, the heavenly one. So we're talking about a spiritual setting. We're not talking about in a physical setting. Neither call be called leaders, for your leader is one, the Christ. Now, I didn't make that up, okay? Those are not my words. He says, for your leader is one, the Christ. Just that... Just that simple. Now I can also take you here, real quick. Gotta get rid of this because it'll only give me those results. I wanna go all publications. I wanna go here. No, it's still doing the same thing. So I gotta go all the way back. Something happened along the way, y'all. What, it just, it, all we had happened along the way. To be happy is sad. Something happened along. I can't hit these notes. Not no more. We're going to go to Isaiah. We're going to go to Isaiah. And we're going to go to 55. Because you can't drive 55. Isaiah, he, he too old. He don't know how to drive 55. Says, look. I made him a witness to the nations, a leader and a commander to the nations. This is referring to that promised Christ. He is the leader. So I don't look to any of these men as my leaders. Never have, never will. So what happens is when you guys are signing the voter consent, for, uh, the voter, watch this, voter registration cards, V. 1V. Now, I just put voter registration card voluntary consent forms. Okay, I, I just need the voluntary consent. And that's what I'm looking for. I don't want to... You guys can go and do your research as to the... No. Looking for the voluntary consent referencing the voter registration cards. This is why it's so important. This is why. Get out the vote. Every single... Lord have mercy. In Britain, they have to do it every four years. Do you notice how every single presidential campaign, there is this big, huge push? 
to get more people to vote? What the flying farts? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think I think we just figured it out. Every single voter registration, the court orders and voluntary consent forms and election laws. I don't know who this is, ladies and gentlemen, but it just it makes every bit of honor it makes every bit of sense right now. That the reason why you are in the position you're in is because you've consented to this happening. Okay. Tribal Tribune. Veterans and non-veterans forgot the famous photo taken by Joe Rosenthal in the Second World War. Okay, what I'm looking for is our phrase. It says it's here twice. So, SS emergency holds signed voluntary consent. I don't know what SS stands for, but this November 2006 is the cutoff date for approval department holds and court orders. The following department holds and court orders, order judgments will be accepted. Okay, this, this is for the tribes. This is for Indians, Indian tribes, and what they do. And I keep seeing voluntary consent form, voluntary consent form, voluntary consent form, then voluntary consent form. That's the fifth one, okay? What I am trying to do here is I am trying to definitely show you guys that when you are voting, you are doing a voluntary consent Okay, check your voter registration card and see if you swore you were a U.S. citizen. W-4s are voluntary consent forms. Sorry, you file agreeing, blah, blah, blah. I do understand what this site is doing. Okay, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that identifies the voter registration card as a voluntary consent form. Okay. Uh, visually reviewed and obtained signatures for voluntary consent forms. This is when you apply to colleges. Okay, it's all voluntary consent. Ladies and gentlemen, they need your consent. Without your consent, they can't do anything. So, We're going to see if we can, aw, aw, how do you withdraw your voter registration card? I know that there's a way to withdraw your voter registration card because Jehovah's Witnesses, who are the individuals who become Jehovah's Witnesses, do it all the time. So we're going to put, how do... I. Okay. That's what we put. Uh oh, the same junk. So let's get rid of the voluntary consent form part. Because the voter registration card is the voluntary consent form. If you are registered to vote and you would like to cancel or withdraw your voter registration, please follow your state or local official. Uh, whatever their rules are. I know that that's what it's going to say. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, all of this, you got to vote. Go ahead and tell me when was the last time you voted for something and you got anything with, that you were expecting to get. When Donald Trump was elected, everything he said he was going to do, he did. Well, how come he didn't drain the swamp? Well, that's because he had one excuse after the other as to why he didn't do it. I don't care about the reasons. He was the president. He talked about all the power he had. If he was going to drain the swamp, why didn't he do it? Lincoln did it. 
you know, Lincoln arrested all of the justice of the Supreme Court? Well, he couldn't do that because I don't care. He could have done something. He didn't do anything. Poor people are still poor. People are still struggling. Donald Trump knew about how government entraps people. He knew this, and he didn't do anything to stop it. Okay? Oh, people have been withdrawing their voter registration card to make sure that they don't get summons for a jury. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not just a voter registration card, it's your DMV record as well. Okay? So, let me let you guys know that this is all about consent. We just shown you the will of the government is consent to the government. Now, here's the thing. Every year in Britain, they have a law. Every four years, excuse me, in Britain, there is a law that there must be a signed consent form. I did not understand it until I thought about it. Every four years, they register to vote in Britain too. And so their consent form is perpetual every time they vote. See, why do you have to register to vote? Shouldn't your ID already be your registration? Should the fact that you have an ID already document that you are a citizen? Ladies and gentlemen, why do you think they're going through so much of a struggle in Georgia and these other states? Requiring that voters provide more than just their driver's license. Please understand. Civil Rights Act, where these in, these individual idiots were sitting up there wanting to get the same rights as everybody else? Let me let you pay attention. They had no clue as to what they were doing. They wanted to be like everybody else. They wanted to be treated like everybody else when they didn't even realize they were in a different class than everybody else. They just didn't know how to use the laws. But even when they didn't have a right to vote, they were being beaten up and... Yes, that's true, because they didn't know the laws. Ladies and gentlemen, slavery has never been legal in the United States. Go back, take a look at the Constitution. Involuntary servitude has always been illegal in the United States. That's why all of the slaves were brought here from a different country. Go back and take a look. No citizen could be subject to slavery in the United States. It's never been legal. The ones who were considered two-thirds of a man was because they were not a citizen of the United States. So Congress created the 14th Amendment to make them quasi-less-than-a-man citizens of the United States. You guys need to understand the 14th Amendment wasn't created for the free people. Go back, take a look at it. That 14th Amendment was not created for free people. It was not created to give you rights in the states because you already had constitutional secured rights in the states. Because each state was required to have 10 rights that mimic the Bill of Rights. That's why we know all of the other laws added by Congress, those are not approved by the people. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just the way it is. People only approve the first ten amendments. Go back and look at the other amendments that have been added. The people didn't do that. Go ahead and see what it takes to get rid of a constitutional amendment or to amend a constitutional amendment. You see that long, audacious process? That's what it takes to create an amendment to the United States Constitution. And they don't do that. They let the representatives vote on these new amendments. Why do they do that? Because they have the consent of the governed. Because those representatives represent those voters who have given them their backing. And they support them? Do you see how they show up at these rallies and show that they support their senator? And they support their congressman? The consent of the governed. Introduction, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. It wasn't until the conversation yesterday where they talked about every four years in Britain, they do that. And in this conversation today with you all, did I realize, because remember at the very beginning I'm saying I need somebody to provide me the information on how that applies in the United States. 
And then I realized, remember, I've never voted, so I don't know what the voter registration card, the language of the voter registration card, but I do know that it has something about consent, and it requires your signature. And then when you go and fill out a ballot, that ballot is showing that you're consenting to that individual representing your interests. Man, that's a lot of power, ain't it? Oh, well. And that's what they're struggling for. The same thing with the Sanhedrin in Jesus' day. They were worried about losing their nation and their power. They weren't worried about right or wrong. Just like right now, these congressmen and congresswomen are not concerned about right or wrong. Yes, yes, yes. There may be one or two of them that are decent individuals who really are trying to get the right things done. Look, ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> trafficking. Okay, he was right that it's a huge bankruptcy. United States Congress is presiders and trustees over that. Why? Because they represent the governed. Okay? This is why your, your stuff is being thrown out of court, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you're being hauled in the court. Because you've given them permission to do that. Look, I'll, I'll break it down to you like this and then we'll end this video. When one becomes a Jehovah's Witness, the way Jehovah's Witnesses are are this I gotta open it back up just so that you understand there is a rule and Jehovah's Witnesses follow this rule they literally follow it to the letter look at this recorder for the county of Ventura California this is the voter registration card it says if you are a United States citizen and a resident of California okay 18 years or older on election day well, why do you have to be a United States citizen in order to vote in a county election? Ladies and gentlemen, why do you have to be a United States citizen in order to vote in a county election? Why can't you just be a resident? Don't worry about it. Because a state citizen, the state is itself its own sovereign. Jesus makes the comment, my followers are no part W-O-R-L-D. He says, my followers are no part of the world. So when one becomes a Jehovah's Witness, they are saying that they want to become a follower. That's what Christian means, Christ-like follower. They want to become a follower of Christ Jesus. So if that is the case, that they want to become a follower of Jesus, we are not. I may not have used the words, we'll put no part of the world, so we can get to his followers uh, he doesn't say he doesn't say the words my followers are no part of the world. He says we'll get there. I think he says my people. I'm trying to get the correct wording. It's by memory. Okay, study. Come on now, hurry up. These things I command you that you love one another if the world hates you you know that they had hated me well before it hated you he says it hated me before it hated you and if you were part of the world the world would be fond of what is its own but now you because you are no part of the world but i've chosen you out of the world for this reason the world hates you jesus followers are no part of the world ladies and gentlemen they weren't part of the world today they won't be part of the world tomorrow okay that's that one now we go here where he emphasizes it a whole lot more. But I am coming to you, speaking about his father, and I am saying these things in the world so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves. I have given your word to them, but the world has hated them because they are no part of the world just as I am no part of the world. I do not request you take them out of the world, but that you watch over them because of the wicked one, Satan the devil. That they are no part of the world just as I am no part of the world. So Jehovah's Witnesses, when they be individuals, when they become Jehovah's Witnesses, they have to disassociate themselves from all of those attachments, entanglements with the world, such as voting, voter registration. Um, ladies and gentlemen, there are several registrations that people do throughout their lives that they don't realize what they're doing. 
and consenting by filling out these registration forms, you are going to have to do a little bit more reading before you start signing these contracts. Yes, the voter registration form is a contract. You don't believe me, go ahead and look and see what it says. If it says, I agree, if it says, I, I blah, 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 I, blah, 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 I, blah, blah, blah. When you sign under penalty of perjury, you are signing a contract, ladies and gentlemen, because it's all contract. Everything is contract. So when I speak about the consent of the government, in just this video, let's just say I learned something and I hope you did too. I got to go, but man, if you really are trying to stop certain things from happening to you, certain people from coming and snatching things and taking things from you, then why don't you start working on how to get out of these stupid contracts? That's your trap. Oh, I ain't supposed to be listening to this. Uh -uh, they, they know better than that. This is the Isley Brothers. They know that I don't like this song. Sorry, I don't listen to songs like that. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me let you guys go. Let me let you guys take care of your business. My hope is that you can focus on the information and not be distracted by the distractions. Again, my hope is that you can focus on the information. That you can realize that... Well, I'm going I'm to do this and I'm going to vote because if I don't vote... Go vote. Knock yourself out. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Go consent to everything. I'm talking to the people who are contacting me constantly talking about, Well, how do I stop this from happening? Well, remember, it's all your fault. You have only yourself to blame. You're the one who consented to them doing everything that they're doing to you. Okay? Now, see, the first thing I do, because I don't mind letting them know I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses. I do that because I'm not registered to vote. Never will be registered to vote. That I don't sign any consent. You know, they actually uh, did a uh, stupid newspaper a couple of years ago that said that I admitted to being a sovereign citizen. That I am a so-called self-proclaimed sovereign citizen. Ladies and gentlemen, go back. I've always said that Jehovah is my sovereign. And it is impossible for me to be a sovereign citizen. Impossible for me to be a sovereign citizen. Because I cannot be in competition with my God. That is one of the main provisions of being one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Is that I cannot be in opposition or competition with my God. It really is a prerequisite. So... You all need to understand what's being done, what they are saying, what they are saying, what they are assuming and presuming as a result of your voter registration. It's all presumption of law. It's all contract. Some of you will get it. Some of you won't. And I can't help those of you who don't. You know what I mean? Because you're stuck in your own ignorance. And being ignorant, is there's nothing wrong with being ignorant. No, 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 but then you can't complain because you get everything that you deserve. Because you had an opportunity to learn and you chose not to learn. And a hard head? Man, a hard head. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Got to go. I